With this video, I will show you how to create a set of dynamically repeated cards. I will talk about cards in a video that is devoted to that topic. This leaves me a chance to immediately dive into the project. Here I start with a blank canvas which consists of a new page with Bootstrap 5 as the framework. I have also included App Connect because a dynamic repeat area requires interaction with the back end. As usual, I start with the container. and give it a top margin. Inside the container, I add a row and a column. Inside the column, I add a card. Notice how the card occupies the full width of its container, otherwise known as the column. I now select the row to add repeat children to the row. This means that the child of the row, which is the column, will be repeated a number of times. This number would normally come from a data source. In this case, I will assign a fixed number to illustrate this example. This has repeated the column a number of times. It has also placed the cards in one single row. This is because the column does not have a fixed width. The minimum width is determined by the content, which in turn, is the content of the card. To illustrate this, I go to Mobile View. Here we see that the minimum width of the card is the determining factor when placing two cards per physical row. For this project, I want to determine how many cards are shown in a physical row. For this, I go down to the layout section of the properties panel. Here I see, row columns which is bootstrap language for number of columns per physical row. I want one card per physical row for the mobile view. In the same manner, I set the number of cards per physical row for each of the other views. As a last adjustment, I will center the cards when the number of cards is less than the stipulated number. Normally the cards will be dynamically populated. As a demonstration, I will change the card title to show that the change will drill through to all of the cards. I tried to make this video as long as possible. Unfortunately, Wappler makes the process embarrassingly easy, depriving me of more. And all of that without have to hand code. I will produce more videos like this. Please subscribe so that you will be notified when a new video is published. My name is Ben Pleasier. Thank you for watching.